Here's how to install the Google Play Store on Amazon Fire tablets. This process also works on kids' Fire tablets. I just bought this for my daughter, so I'm gonna walk you through on this one since it doesn't have it yet. Now, before we get started, if you added an external card to add storage to your device, you're gonna wanna get that out before we get started because what we're going to install needs to go directly onto the Amazon Fire tablet. Now, if you're concerned that as your device updates, you're gonna have to do this multiple times, that's not true. I did this one time three years ago and Google Play Store has continued to work over the last three years. So let's get started. Now, if you are using a kid's tablet, you do need to go in the top right hand corner first and tap the people to switch to the parent's profile tap switch profile tap your name after it switches log in and as you can see right now i don't have the play store and if i were to go to the amazon app store and search for play store there are some fake options but it says google play store is not available on amazon fire tablet now that is true for amazon fire tablets out of the box but we do know a way to get it on there now quick disclaimer there's probably a reason why they don't have the play store on here so do some research if you're not comfortable and if you want to move forward let's do it okay so to get started swipe down from the top Swipe again and then tap this gear to go to settings. From there, scroll down a little bit, go to security and privacy, tap on apps from unknown sources, and then where you see Silk Browser, tap that and say allow from this source. This will allow you to download the files from Amazon's browser so that we can install Google Play Store. Next, we need to look up what kind of Amazon Fire tablet you have. So to do that, tap back, tap back, tap back, scroll down to device options. So if you scroll down here, you're going to see that under about Fire tablet, you have a, and then whatever is listed for you. I have a Fire HD 10, 13th generation, so I'm gonna go ahead and note that. Then let's tap on system updates to make sure your device is currently up to date. Tap check now. If something is offered, go ahead and update. Then you can also write down your current operating system. So this is Fire OS 8.3.3.5. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's tap the circle to go back to the main menu. So now we're gonna go to the Silk browser. If you don't see it, that's okay. Type in Silk browser, tap on it. And here we're gonna type in a specific website. I made a short code to make it easy for you. So type in bit dot ly slash rr tablet and then press the yellow button to go. This website is fantastic and walks you all the way through, but scroll all the way down to Google Account Manager. Now, remember when we wrote down what kind of tablet we have? Go ahead and find it and tap on the selection to the right of it. If you happen to get an ad, just exit out, then simply scroll down to where you see Download APK, tap it. It's gonna say Downloading File, File Downloaded. Now don't open the file yet, we have some more to do. Tap back to the other tab because we have three more things we need to download before we start installing. Scroll down to Google Services Framework, and here you want to look at the two things that you wrote down. This website will continue to have the most up-to-date information. So for me, I have a Fire HD 10. I see it listed there. And even though it doesn't say the operating system, I feel confident that this is the one because my device isn't listed anywhere else. So let's tap it. Scroll down to where you see Download APK. Tap it. Skip the ad by tapping the X. Downloading file. And after it's downloaded, let's go back to the other tab again. We're halfway there, so let's scroll down to Google Play Services. Now, I bought this device in 2025, so it says Fire models from 2022 and later, including the Fire 7, 8, 10, and Max 11. We know that I have the Fire 10. You can find yours and then tap Google Play Services to go to the page. All right, so this one's a little bit different. You gotta scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see a lot of versions. So you wanna get the one that's closest to the top that doesn't have the word beta in it. So this one at the top doesn't have beta, so I'm gonna tap it. Again, if you had an ad, tap the X. Scroll down a little bit to where you see Download APK. Let it download like last time. And then let's go back for the final download. Now scroll down to Google Play Store. And this one's easy, there's only one option. So tap it, scroll down, go to the one that's near the top that doesn't have beta in it, tap it, skip the ad, scroll down again to download APK, tap it. Here's the final download. Now it's time to install them, we're almost there. So tap the circle button on the bottom. At the top, let's search for files. Once you see files, tap it. Then we're gonna select downloads on the left side. And then on the right, there's gonna be this list icon. Tap that because we wanna see the file names here because it's important which order we install these in. So first, tap the one that has login. And then you're gonna get a disclaimer saying that we agree to be responsible for any device on our tablet or loss of data. Again, do your own research. I've been doing this for years and I've never run into any issues. So I'm gonna tap continue, install. After installed, tap done. Now I'm gonna tap the one that has GSF without login in it. So I'm gonna tap that. Tap continue, tap install. Once it's installed, tap done. Now I'm gonna go to GMS, tap continue, install, tap done. But watch what happens when I try to install this fourth one. I tap it, it says there was a problem parsing the package. If this didn't happen to you and it installed perfectly, great, move on to the next part of the video. But if it did, let me show you how to get past this error. So tap okay, and we know that it was the fourth one that I installed based on time. See, one, two, three, four. So I know that I can go back to the browser and I can Go to the fourth one down, which is the Google Play Store, and I'm gonna tap on that because we need to re-download an older version. So we're gonna scroll down. I installed that top one before, and we're gonna skip down to the next APK. Not bundle, the next APK. So I'm gonna tap it, skip the ad, scroll down, download APK, 
It might say, do you want to download it? This might be harmful. Yes, download anyway. Tap the square to go back to where we were in files. If you don't see it automatically, tap on documents and go back to downloads and you'll see a more recent version. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. We get the regular prompt, tap continue, hit install, and you're going to see it installed. Now, if you still get that error, keep going through the list until you get one that works. But once it's installed, go ahead and hit done, not open, because what we need to do now is restart our device. So hold the power button, tap restart. Now you can feel free to add your external storage back to your device. Log in, and for the last step, tap Play Store, sign into your account, and once you're in, you can download things like YouTube, YouTube Kids, or anything else you'd like. Please hit subscribe to let us know if this was helpful, and we look forward to serving you in our next video. Enjoy.